All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to 8-Bit Army. So, yeah, let's keep it on normal. Might as well keep the difficulty normal. So, uh, stay alive for 15 minutes, destroy enemy HQ, destroy enemy HQ in two minutes. So, this is a survival mission. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna get attacked by a bunch of enemies. We unlock engineers and tech lab. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, I was considering playing this game on beginner. Um, but yeah, if we can somehow destroy their their uh, HQ, that could actually work better for me. So stay alive for 15 minutes. Gotcha. Uh, let's get to work, I guess. Constructing. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to. I was trying to pan around with uh, WASD, but I forgot that does, that doesn't work in this game. So we've got uh, a couple of power plants. We've got a bunch of turrets. Oh, so this is literally just the mission from last time, except for refinery complete. We've got a second. Um, Constructing. We, we've got our power plants, like, right here. This is really risky. Uh, we're gonna need to start building power almost immediately. I just want to start with money really quick. Uh, I'm probably just gonna load up with, like, a silly amount of, uh, rocket infantry and tanks as per my usual. Machine gun turret under attack. Let's see. Constructing. Oh, they... Are these just basic armor cars? Yeah, these are basic armor cars. Oh, no, they got tanks. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be able to get the secondary objectives on these. Not immediately, anyway. But we're going to need lots Eric's of rocket men. Complete. Uh, in fact, we're probably going to need gun turret under attack. more of that than anything else. Let's start building power. Because if either of these blow up, uh, if any of those blow up, we're pretty much sunk. I'm just going to lo load all of my guys there. If we're lucky, we might actually be able to build up enough of a Zerg force to hammer them down. But for the time being, this will have to be okay. We'll eventually have to guard this out if I can. Power plant Here's complete. a question. Can I build this out in the base? Yes, I can. I can build this out in the field. Okay. Can I start doing that? Constructing. Because if we have two of these, we might actually be able Repairing. to keep this going. Can I repair Repairing. this one too? I can. Machine okay. gun turret complete. So... My thoughts are Machine gun turret under attack. If we can keep this one up, like if we can delay them as long as possible, let my uh, rocket infantry build up. We'll be in a good position. Cuz it looks like he's using a lot of vehicles here. Um uh, and if I just have like a ton of a uh, ton of rocket infantry, we could potentially Machine just like Machine gun turret under attack. Nuke him into oblivion. Uh, that said, I don't entirely know if we're going to be able to destroy him. Well, repairing that at, actually it seems to be working. Okay. Let's go help. Yeah, that tank is going to be the biggest problem. Machine gun turret under attack. But with the rocket infantry, uh, we might be in a fine spot. So let's see if I can build another one of these. Constructing. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Let's get my people back here. We're gonna need to build another refinery once that one's done. Uh, but I am just going to... Machine gun uh, turret complete. I'm just gonna go hog wild on this a little bit. We'll build another refinery. Because I do actually want to destroy the enemy HQ if I can. That'd be amazingly useful. Nope, this is a barracks. We want to build a motor pool. Constructing. Okay. We're Machine gun this turret one. under attack. Let's repair. Repairing. It does look like he's kind of scaling this up a little bit. But that'll be okay. With all Water the extra rockets, complete. this should be fine. And these are pretty cheap. So if we just build a bunch of... Uh, if we just double up on the turrets... The turrets are great tanks. They'll start attacking. We'll last through it. Okay. Power consumption seems to be fine. Let's go back to this. Machine gun turret complete. Okay. Machine gun turret under attack. Let's see. I'm trying to preserve my people as long as possible. And let the let the turrets soak the hits. There we go. Back off. Back off. Really wish there were medics in this game. Machine gun turret under attack. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, can I do R to repair? Nope. 
Well, I've decided Repairing. to build a harvester. That's actually okay. We needed we need more harvesters anyway. So let's build two of those. Build a bunch more of these guys. Okay. Or actually, you know what? You can start getting this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just going to load up in, on a ton of. Uh, Can I even control these? I have no idea. I'm just gonna load up on a ton of motor pools, uh, or armored trucks, and rocketmen. We're just gonna zerg them. I've got 10 minutes left, but if I can destroy the enemy Machine HQ... Machine gun turret under attack. Oh, in 10 minutes. That's fine. What the... I'm not giving me the option to repair anymore. Oh, maybe because nothing is damaged? That'd be really strange. Okay, group one, go help. Oh, it's Machine automatically repaired. Under attack. And looks like they've uh, scaled up appropriately a little bit. We could try zerging him right now, immediately after a fighting force. Like, this might work. Okay, let's go back, though. We've got... We've got more forces that can be coming in. In fact, now that I'm not building any buildings, constructing. Let's uh, increase this build speed a little bit. I mean, we've got the money for it. Machine gun turret under attack. Repairing. Repairing. Okay. Barracks. Your group complete. one. Move it back. Uh, let's make another motor pool. Constructing. And make sure that we're we're still mashing out as many of these as we can. We want just an insane fighting force here. I don't know what we're up against. You know what? It's worth it. Motor pool complete. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we're up against, but if we find out, that'll probably help a lot. Okay, I'll build another motor pool. Constructing. Looks like the the tanks are probably going to be the biggest issue. Come on. But I think we'll be fine. Machine gun turret under attack. Let's see. Motor yeah. pool complete. Eventually, we're not going to be able to maintain this, but that's okay. Repairing. Okay, let's go. Let's go assist. I'm glad I built that extra Gatling turret. Let's destroy that. Machine gun turret under attack. Destroy this group. Barracks complete. Okay. This is it. We don't have a choice. We got two and a half minutes and we've got to destroy their, uh... We've got to destroy their base. I think we'll be fine, though. This is a pretty overwhelming force. Okay. Plus, it's still coming. Okay. So let's do this. Keep moving in. We've got this whole crew. Group one, move in. Once we get the rockets in, we're good. I think. I, yeah, I think this is going to be the first time we actually get a nice little bonus objective. Assuming his base isn't, like, over-defended. Oh. Well, that's a legitimate problem. Or is it? I don't know. We'll see. As long as he doesn't start running me over, we'll be okay. Let's bring in group B. Uh, we might have this. Problem is, he started running my guys over. That's always a problem. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna skirt. Got a minute left. I gotta find his power. Okay. Found his power. So if we destroy this, we went... Oh, God. Okay. Nuke that down. Start nuking down that power. Because if he doesn't have any power left, regardless of him shooting at me, we win. Okay. I just realized we got a ton of people here. Okay. Let's attack. 
Come on, keep taking him out. Okay, let's shoot his people for a second. Yeah, I don't want to destroy too many of his buildings. Well, we might as well kill his uh, defenses in the area. I mean, we could try attacking his base, but I, we might not win uh, the 10 minute thing. I've also not been building here, which is part of a part of the problem. Okay. Let's see if I can take this tank out, take out his defenses. I've got a whole group here. Oh shit! Well, I've been wasting all of my secondary group. This is this is shitty. Yeah, I ruined it. I didn't zerg the way I should have. Yeah, these guys have been, um, I accidentally set them to just rejoin the group, and I didn't really pay attention. Damn. Yeah, well, we'll be able to get this the next time around, especially if I can make tanks. I just was not, uh, thinking or working appropriately. Here's a question. Damn. I was really hoping I could, uh, build turrets over here. Well... Whatever. It sucks. But what can you do, right? Constructing. I mean, we got four minutes. We might actually be able to make a secondary fighting force here. To win. Hard to say. I mean, we definitely hurt him bad. He has far less defenses coming in. I, complete. I probably should have just taken the direct approach. Or else is starving him for money. The only problem is... He's running me over. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna let my dudes roll in for a couple more minutes. Yeah, we might actually be able to... We might be able to take out his base. Yeah, part of it is I got greedy and stupid. And... Just kind of ran my people past while wasting them hard. But I think we'll be fine. He's... I mean, he's still got these attack groups, but I can make... I can... Take them out. I wonder. I wonder if the AI cheats in this game. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's uh. Okay, we're probably good. Let's take it. Take it out before it just rolls over all of my guys. Okay, we want to move over here. Okay, let's just let's just shoot him. I'm gonna just rolling thunder this. Seems like trying to sneak around is not a good idea, we just get shot a bunch. So let's just, let's just, let's just use my overwhelming firepower and instead of wasting people trying to maneuver. Oh god. Speaking of maneuvering, I think he's got an infinite number of those guys. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Let's move. And support. I don't want to, I don't want to lose a bunch of people to getting run, run over. God. Why are they just shooting the nearest thing? It's pretty dumb. Okay. You know what we should probably do is just blow up his HQ. Let's do that. I forgot to keep building. Yeah, okay, there goes his HQ. Player eliminated. Yeah, I think if I had just zerged that originally, like taking out all of the uh taking out all of the Gatling turrets and then zerged his base, we actually would have been fine. Well either way, we get two objectives, which gets me an extra starting power plant, which is great. And we've unlocked some things. And uh especially if we get tanks, we can definitely uh get the third objective. Uh in the end. Like really, really easily. Uh, I might even be able to get like Sky Thunder done pretty fast. But this will unlock tanks. And get me two starting tanks. And then, if I complete it, I start with the motor pool. Nice. Uh, don't train infantry units at all. Well, that would be really easy to do, in fact. Probably. Flat tire. Okay, several little enemy motor pools contain retooling schematics for tanks. Oh. So the problem is, we don't start with tanks. So this actually would probably be easier. Okay. 
to do a second time around. So let's just do it on normal, and then I'll come back and, and wipe the floor with them uh, to, get the, to get the bonuses. I could do it the other way, but I think instead of constraining myself, uh, let's, let's just go full hog. Okay, so I start with a, a bunch of extra power and some Gatling turrets. So let's build some refineries. Constructing. Yeah, trying to do this without con uh, constructing motor pool would probably be a bad move. Oh, I see. Structure sold. I didn't realize that I had two of these. Constructing. I'll just do a second one of them. I can't build anything right because we don't start with the barracks. Uh, could sack him, but I don't see the point. Okay. Refinery complete. We got that taken care of. Let's just build a barracks. I should figure out if you can rotate uh, barracks in this game. Let's see. Air control, engineer, missile silo, radar, and rocket turret. Tech lab seems interesting. We'll try it, but I get the feeling it's probably not worth it. Uh, it seems like my best bet generally in these games is Eric's just to complete. build Zerg group and roll them. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh. Oh, this just tells me how many uh, refinery units we have. Well, I'm just gonna start pooling rocket infantry. Motor poor, pool complete. Poor basic infantry. Just never get used anymore. Okay, so you guys are gonna be group two. And this way we can set our waypoints. We'll have group one. Uh, let's... I guess let's build a tech lab, if only because I, I'm curious what it does. Okay, so here's the question. I, I think these guys just automatically do what they do and run into each other. I love how bouncy the animations are, it's great. Okay. But yeah, I think, as usual, W, T all the way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make, like, truly silly build orders on both why not tech lab complete okay so we made a tech lab what does this do we've just unlocked it not a clue it says we unlocked them but I don't see it I guess there's the engineer oh Let's build a bunch of, uh, engineers for the time being. N don't entirely know what they do, but they seem kind of fun regardless. Okay. I just realized we were, like, right here. I'm gonna Structure sell one of these, sold. which is gonna make this even worse. Uh, we're gonna build another refinery up here. Constructing. And we'll send some of the trucks up. Because this is unfortunate. Uh, to say the least. It'll be fine. Okay. Refinery complete. So I'm hoping with the engineer... Harvester under attack. They'll just be able to heal me up. Are you an engineer? Can you... Yeah, he will, they will just automatically repair everybody. Okay, cool. So we've we found our medics, as silly as it is. Oh, I don't know. Harvester under attack. So we need we actually need to defend up here. Repairing. How are you guys doing? Okay, my poor my poor harvester's in trouble, but should be fine. Oh, crap. I don't have everybody selected in group one yet. Harvester and I'm under, under attack. Ah, uh, no. All of my rocket infantry are dead. Because I left them undefended, because my army doesn't move as a group. Well, guess I'm paying for that mistake. Okay, let's sit these guys here. Let's point this over here. Harvester Luckily, under attack. we've built more of them. What the fuck? Oh, it's because there's multiple groups. Okay. It's... They snuck through from somewhere. The 
fog of war in this game is weird. Okay, so let's just build turrets. Where can I build turrets? Can't build them. This is annoying. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have this like little battle zone. Constructing. I'll just do that for the time being. We're gonna bring you up here. This way we'll have two. Yeah, so you just keep showing up. But we have engineers in the group, so this Machine should be better. Gun turret complete. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to build like a, a staging area Harvester of some variety. But it looks like not. Unfortunately, we're getting hammered from like all sides here. Which means we need to really... Start expanding. Okay. Or we could just keep hoarding up and let the engineers fix everybody. Okay. Please tell me they just heal automatically. Yep, they will. Okay, that's good. They won't do it when there are enemies nearby, but when we're idle, they will just slowly fix the entirety of my armory. That's good. Awkward, but good. So I think what I'm going to do is just take half my army and march south, or whatever. Okay, let's just divide it by down the middle. So you're going to be army three. Once you extricate yourselves a little bit. The remaining guys will be army one. And you're gonna go stand right there. Okay. So let's rolling thunder slowly down and take out this base. Unfortunately, since we don't have tanks, uh, this is a little bit harder. But once we have tanks, this will be really... Ah, shit. Are you serious? Okay. So he's supporting his own uh, motor pools and stuff, but he's got rocket turrets on the, um... He's got rocket turrets on the Mesa. Which are really hard to get around. So we're just gonna stand on, on the top of the Mesa. This is still going. I'm just gonna make sure I have the biggest army that I possibly can army. Let's make another barracks here. Uh, just for the sake of expediency or something. Okay, so you guys are good. Let's head down here. Looks like his base mirror is mine. Okay, avoid. Retaliate. Barracks complete. Move away. Okay. Yeah, the problem is I feel like the AI kind of knows where I am. No matter what I do. Which is unfortunate. For me. Okay. What the? Oh, okay. That tank didn't heal. That's just my imagination. Okay. So we want to heal up before we do anything else. God damn it. Yeah, he's still attacking me from every angle. Taking this base is going to be a hell of a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Well. Is he even attacking me? At my, like, main base? I don't know. Well, we're just gonna blitz this field over here. Yeah, it looks like he's mostly, uh, just going for my offensive force here. Which is actually kind of great. Because we can have... We can have Group B go this way. Unfortunately, those rockets on the hill... Rocketeers, whatever you want to call them, are kind of a nuisance, but we'll make it work. But let's let's make my army a lot bigger. Because I'm sure having this big of a fighting force guarantees vic victory. Okay, so group three, group one. Group one, go back. I think the engineers and the rest of the vehicles aren't sitting next to each other. Okay, here we go. God, Zerg, Zerg tactics never got so silly. Uh, never were so silly before this. 
I don't know, maybe they were. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's a lot easier to Zerg in this game versus the original Red Alert games. Not that that's that big of a deal. Okay. So, let's see. so there's the motor pools. Oh, he's building more power. Interesting, so each of these bases do in fact have, uh, individualized HP pools. Let's take out the... Take out the harvester. Okay. Things look like they're working. We're still building people, though we're running out, obviously. Oh, yeah. Let's just add fives to it all. Okay, there we go. Group three is working. Let's take out the power before we take out the Gatling turrets. If he can't do anything, then this works better for me. Ah, uh, because it looks like each of these bases have... Uh, individualized power, which is nice. Yeah, so once we have tanks, this will be a, a lot easier, too. Maybe. We won't have the engineers, unfortunately. But I'll have the Zerg tactics, so it doesn't matter that much. Let's take out that. Let's move out of the way of the, uh, Harvester. Because, for all that it's not that, uh, for all of it not being that threatening, uh, Harvesters can still roll over all of my rocket infantry. Which, uh, it's no good. No good at all. Oh, I can't wait to sick this group on people. That's gonna be fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this group up this direction. Okay, sort of. Group three, you're good. Oh, we've got the turrets. Don't do, don't do. We're gonna go out here first. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, the, the problem is they're, they're pathing, but they're going to take us right past those turrets that uh, were shelling us from earlier. And no matter how durable this group is, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm noticing a lot of the engineers will, like, kind of cluster away from the combat. And that's not great. Pathing is a little weird in this game. I wonder if you can set, um... No, you can't set waypoints. I was really hoping it could actually give multiple move commands at once. Uh, I think Tiberian Sun had that. And it was amazing. Like, it really helped out. Uh, when it came to, like, organizing your troops and, like, sending them in directions. Okay, so let's move around. We've got these rocket turrets on the hill. but we'll be okay. This poor dude. Okay, keep giving it a wide berth. We'll go hide up on this hill for a second. And unleash the wolves. Okay. Let's send this amount. Really? No. Let's send the full amount. I'm just gonna send them up there. This group looks to be good. They've, yep, there's a couple engineers in there. For a second, I wasn't actually sure if there was a, a group, any group of engineers in this party, but we do. They're there. Oh, that poor rocketeer is lost on his own. God, the pathing is so weird. Like group aggro is a problem too. Okay, so let's move slightly out of the way. You you guys are going to be group one. I'm just going to sit them there. We're going to move these guys in. Yep, thought so. Oh, since this refinery is already depleted, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Let's go back and murder this guy. And go up here. I don't know why this one's still going, but that's fine. If he has to rebuild the harvesters, then uh, we have less chances of them... Just rolling over all of my rocket infantry. Okay, so let's take this one out. Oh, nope. Take out the harvester before it takes anybody else out. Take out the, uh, I know, I know that one is, one Gatling turret shooting me. But I don't want to deal with it. Not right now. So let's see if I can de deplete his power. Not enough. Let's keep doing it. There we go. Oh. Okay, got that done. Let's shoot this, because his Gatling turrets can't do anything to me if I'm, I'm shooting these. 
And I don't know if he can still build stuff either. Okay, group three, move in. Let's go back up to group one. Let's have you guys move to support up here. I think group one has already cleared this. Okay, let's go take a look at group three. Yeah, they'll be fine. We're not taking too much damage. We're taking a bit. But not, not enough that it's a problem. This is actually working out pretty well. I thought we were going to be in uh, more trouble than this. But no dice. Okay, so group one, go up there. Then I'll probably have group one just zerg out here. We'll see what those rocket turrets are made of. Oh wait, they're made of nothing. They're non-functional. Let's take out all of these power plants first. I realize the reason why they have run into so many power issues is because they've got that whole bank of, uh... They've got that whole bank of rocket turrets. And, uh, pfft. Yeah, whatever. It works. Not exactly the most efficient, but it works. I don't even know what's up on these. But it just does not matter. Look at how many just dudes we have. I think we lost all of our infantry. In everywhere. Yeah, somebody must have rolled, rolled them over. Well, I guess when in doubt, just have a comical amount of things. Like, this would never roll in the army. The army would just be like, Hell no, you're not gonna have uh, over a hundred jeeps rolling around. What are you, an idiot? And I think we win. <laughs> oh, that was funny. This game is great. Victory or winner is you. I like this game mechanically. Hopefully they make another one with, like, better uh, story and stuff. Just because. Okay, so Rust Bucket. Uh, don't s lose or sell any of your structures. That should be really easy. Destroy all enemy structures and complete objectives A and B in 10 minutes. So the bonuses aren't as good there. No, what we could do is actually go back and redo some of these things. Uh, specifically, Green Man would be really easy, because I can now make tanks. Uh, Sky Thunder should be easier as well. Steel Crush. Yeah, yeah, so these, these could be doable. I think we might just want to keep progressing, though, and then we'll look back around, because we are slowly building up kind of a base, uh, a, a base rolling bonus, whatever you want to call it, uh, which I actually really appreciate. Uh, what was it? Uh, Deserts of Karak had the same thing, where your, your fleet could, uh, carry over from game to game, and I thought that was really cool. I liked that. Uh, and I'd love to see... I would love to see, you know, that in more RTSs, because it kind of makes sense. And this game is doing it in not as absurd of a way, or like as, as much of a, like, snowball effect, but I actually really like how this one's done, too. Because it kind of... I don't know. It... Uh, the... This is the first game I've ever seen that actually really rewards you for bonus objectives. Uh, in, like, any kind of substantive way. I guess there are a couple of them, but, like, as far as the RTSs go, not even close. This is awesome. I love it. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of 8-Bit Armies. And, as always, thanks for watching.